All right, hello everybody. Welcome to a game called The Floating Sandbox. So this game is basically all about sinking very expensive ships. Uh, this is a realistic sandbox simulation game. So the whole point is to see how the structure of a ship would uh, behave under certain circumstances. So of course, we're gonna destroy some expensive ships right here. So we have a cruise ship right here. Oh my God. And what I'm gonna do here is just play around with this. So there's a lot of different tools. Let me just show you the power of this game. So, and of course, the music starts playing, of course. Yep, it's going down. So there's a ton of different things that you can do. So you can see how the simulation starts playing. So I can do that, for instance. <laughs> it's very unique. So we can do a ton of shit here. But of course, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take this very expensive ship and I'm gonna run it aground. <laughs> Okay, there's been a ton of accidents like that in the real world, so I kind of want to see what really happens. Let's pretend this ship is just going this way, right? So I think the first thing that I want to see is how am I gonna how am I gonna move this first? All right, so I'm gonna grab this. I'm just gonna push it. I'm just gonna push it forward. There it goes. Oh crap! <laughs> All right. Oh, there's some damage at the front and the water starts flowing all the way to the back so you can see the water there. Oh my god. Yeah, people down there are not gonna be happy with this. Wait, hold on. Can I push it even further? Let's say I'm just I'm just insane, dude. I'm just an insane individual. Oh my god. <laughs> no one ever thought of making an amphibious cruise ship. You know, I guess what I'm doing here is I'm just pushing the boundaries of a cruise ship. You know, I'm actually doing this for science. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> what if I do this? Hold on, how is how is gravity simulated here? Oh boy, yeah, so you can see all of the different parts of the structure just falling apart. It's a pretty cool simulation, I guess. If this massive cruise ship had a tiny little hole in the bottom, I like that. It is, it is taking a lot of water there. Like, look at this. If you were up here, like, this is the pool, you know? <laughs> this right here is where the pool is at. I don't know if you guys have seen those videos online of cruise ships in storms and stuff like that, but this is scary right here because if you're here, the water is already flowing in, dude. Like, there's a lot of water there. It's probably tilting, so inside all of the, all the chairs, all the tables are just moving around. Have you seen that? Have you guys seen that video? It's freaking scary, dude. I think this is a Royal Caribbean ship. I think that's the Panama flag right there. Not sure. Or is that Puerto Rico? It is definitely gonna sink. So look at this. The water is already all the way up here. So if you're down here, you have to move towards the back and you can imagine it's gonna be chaos, dude. So really, you wanna be up here. But even then, look at this. Look at this, this is, this is the very top of the ship. You can imagine this ship is massive. This has to be like at least seven or eight stories high, if not more, like from the bottom to the top, maybe even 10 stories, right? Let's do this. Oh boy. <laughs> that's the Titanic scene right there. They hold each other right here. And that's what, when he says, you're gonna have to swim up, lady. Whatever your name is, I can't remember. You're gonna have to swim up. And he's he's right, because it's gonna have some suction there. Not the kind of suction he wanted, but you know, it's gonna have some suction. So you're gonna have to swim up right here. Oh yeah, it's going down. It's going down. I wonder if there's water pressure here, down here at the bottom. Oh my God. Like I imagine this is what the pressure would do, right? All right, so that's gonna simulate the shore right there. All right, my dude. How would you do this? Let's, let's apply a little bit more force. There you go. There you go. Ugh. Oh. Oh my god, the front. Look at the front. <laughs> you can do it. Oh. Yep. Oh boy. That is insane. So, you guys remember that scene from the... I think it was a Royal Caribbean ship that tipped over? close to a shore near Greece or something like that. 
this is that scene right there. The only problem is that this is 2D, but that's what would actually happen. It would actually tip over at this point. Now, thankfully, it's shallow waters, right? So some people might be able to survive. It's not going to be as awful as sinking over here, right? But it's still pretty bad. A lot of people are going to get trapped in the, in the wreckage down here. Like, look at this. A lot of people are just going to be trapped there. Imagine bent bent steel like look at this you can imagine the the weight of the ship bending the metal and i'm gonna delete this part look at that look what would happen oh my god right oh my god <laughs> that is insane i wonder hmm it seems like it's it's very strong right here Man, this part is so strong. Look at that. I kind of want this to break down the middle. But this whole deal is able to sustain the weight of this whole part. It's insane. I think it's the water, maybe. It might be the water. Hold on. Here's a question. Why is the water not flowing all the way up here? Hmm. Yeah, that's what you need, right? Just a tiny... Just a tiny hole right there. And that's enough. That's gonna break it. Yep. That's gonna split it down there. Oh crap, this is so... <laughs> this is torture. It's torture. Hold on. Alright, so now this is holding the weight up. Let's try that. Oh yeah. Oh, it's bring it's gonna bring it all with it. Oh, Jesus. It's just a tiny part here. Alright, I just have to give it to the engineers, boys. I've been trying everything I can to, <laughs> to split this apart and I can't do it. Come on. Oh, that was it. That was it right there. <laughs> All right. I'm creating a storm, boys. You can see. <laughs> you can hear it. Oh, boy. There's a storm coming. And <laughs> this ship is in very shallow waters. All right. Oh, boy. That is a big storm. And you don't want to be in this sort of terrain here during that storm. <laughs> All right. So. Keep going. I mean, I imagine the speed would do something like that, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> Keep going, my dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Would it do that, I think? I'm not sure if the speed would actually make it so that the ship goes beyond this. Oh, boy. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is insane. And you can see the, the waves, the fluid mechanics are going insane because of the storm. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, crap. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah. That would be pretty much it right there. Oh. And that is the edge right there. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, dude. Imagine this scene underwater. It would be scary AF. There's no reaction with the ground. The ground is not changing. And you would imagine that if this big ship hit this portion right here, there would be some deformation right there, right? So let's try to do that. It would, it would be something like that. Right? <laughs> Just making up excuses to see this go down. Oh, this is a, uh, this is a scary scene right here. There you have it. That's what happens when you run aground. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that wouldn't do that much damage, I don't think. I mean, it, obviously, it would be awful, but it's not gonna sink the ship, right? All right, I have increased the power of this bomb. All right, let's see what happens now. It's gonna be way more powerful. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, that's really, really powerful right there. Oh my god, that bomb is insane. Alright, so I'm just gonna crank the blast radius 
all the way up to max. Let's see what happens here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, great. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's too much. I mean, if I wanted to destroy, not that I want to do this, but if I wanted to try to destroy a cruise ship with the least amount of energy possible, I mean, obviously you would place the bomb at the bottom, but here's a question. Why does it always sink from the front? What if I do this? I mean, you would imagine since the engines are in the back, that it would be easier to sink a ship from the back, right? Isn't, isn't that logical? <laughs> oh, yep. There it goes. It's not breaking though. It is definitely not breaking. You can imagine this would be what? Holy crap, 20 floors, 20 stories up. I don't even know from this level, I think would be pretty high. Oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah. Imagine just being here. That would be like a nanny. Nanny crash dead. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yep. You don't want to be here. All right. I want to see what would happen here at the deepest part of the ocean. Is there some sort of like crashing mechanic here? I would imagine something like crashing depth would be included in the game. Maybe eventually they'll do that. But right now I don't see any changes to the structure of the ship. But anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.